Hello everybody, Ragtag Sagvi here. Welcome to the next episode. In the last episode, we did some battles and now time for our, our class. Really? Edelgard gained no motivation during all that. Perfect. I got it right. Phew. <laughs> Thanks. That's real. I did pretty well today. Now D plus. I think I got it. Do smear. That wasn't difficult. Praise you! Your praise is appreciated. You're a good professor. Let's do this again. Now, E plus. I'm finding my focus. You're a good professor. Hey, Alyssa. I forgot your hidden uh, talents and swords. I gotta keep working hard. Easier than I thought. Don't stop. Keep it coming. I'll keep trying my best. Perfect. I can't believe I got it right. I feel like I get it now. No, I just got lucky. And then focus on Lance Bit. I'll keep trying my best. I'll keep trying my best. This will be useful. I've learned a lot. Perfect! That's a relief. <laughs> You're making me blush. I've learned a lot. Who should I teach next? Never underestimate a noble. I am quite pleased. Ooh, another perfect. Estimate a noble. I am beginning to understand. Rock to you and got some face. I am beginning to understand. Perfect. See, flawless. All that's 
studying has paid dividends. I shall accept as much praise as you're willing to offer. I could do as much in my sleep. The group test. Ba -ba. Execute. Begin the lecture. May I ask you something? When one professor lectures many students, some will inevitably have trouble keeping up. While others will get too far ahead in their studies, I wonder how this problem might be solved. <laughs> we must recruit more professors. Perhaps lectures should be optional. Perhaps there isn't the magical solution. Um, I doubt magic is the right one. So yeah, I think it's one of these two. Uh, I think. Ah, understood. Friend. Some degree of injury is inevitable in battle, but I'm not one to stand idly, idly by while people get hurt. That's why, in addition to honing my sword skills, it would be best for me to study faith so I can tend to my allies' wounds as needed. It's Kathleen's birthday! You didn't invite me here for a duel? Thanks. <laughs> this is nice. All right. Really? No. How is that not right? I hate this mini game. I absolutely suck at it. Thanks for the tea. Invite me again when you like. Samir wants to speak to us. Hey, Professor. The students seem to like you. It would seem that way. <laughs> and you're not modest about it. I like that. Still, I can't deny that you've got skills. It's a little strange, to be completely honest. I had my doubts, but they were right to make you a professor. Uh, I was surprised too. I'd be suspicious of their true intentions, if I were you. But what's it matter? Seems like it turned out just fine for you. I'll admit, it's unbelievable that you used to be a mercenary. I was a merc before coming here, but... I can't imagine pulling off your fancy tactician act. I freeze up near royals and nobles. You were a mercenary? I was. My family had nothing when I was growing up. There were too many mouths to feed, so I left. Joined up with some mercs for the pay. The work suited me, but I never liked having to bow and scrape to our noble employers. And that's what I like about being a knight. I get to punch all the nobles I want. <laughs> I'm joking. But the knights do make a good business partner. Business partner? I don't believe in the Church of Saros. It makes me a bit of an anomaly among the knights. Rhea took me in, so I became a knight to repay my debt to her. I may be a knight, but it still feels like I'm doing the same things I did as a merc. Who knows, though? Maybe you and I will end up working together. Us knights are a pretty tough crew. I'm guessing you'd run circles around us, though. I'm interested to see where your path leads you. 
Now C. Let's get it done together. Here we go. I guess that's that. Good. I'm getting closer. Hope this is good for something. It's fun when you know what you're doing. I learn with my heart, not my head. Lucia wants to speak with us. Professor, thank you for helping me with my training. Anytime. I'd love to do this again if possible. Your advice is always so useful. Everyone thinks you're a wonderful teacher. You account for people's weaknesses while capitalizing on their strengths. Initially, I wasn't sure you paid too much attention to your students. Clearly, I was wrong. After all, were that the case, you wouldn't be capable of providing such useful feedback. I'll continue to learn and grow from your instruction, Professor. I just know it. You're quite determined. You think I'm determined? Yes, you're always pushing yourself. Professor, I... Thank you. You're the only one who's ever praised me like that. I mean, people are always telling me I've got a knack for magic. If you can call the power of my crest a knack, they aren't wrong per se. Though bearing two crests isn't a gift I ever asked for. Anyhow, I've made a point to work harder than most and not rely too heavily on the power they bestow. So I find it frustrating that the only praise I seem to receive is directly related to that power. If you've noticed how hard I work, then well, it just... it makes me very happy. Why do you work yourself so hard? Well, you see, I... It is because I am the only child of House Ordelia. I must do all I can for my family name. I'm determined to someday be of real value to them. And that day must come soon. I can't waste any time. I don't have much of it left. Anyway, I should be going. Thank you again for your help. <laughs> She's now a bee with us. Yeah, let's explore and do some stuff. Ooh, actually I should check for my certifications. Really D plus or higher for a guaranteed? Ah! You see what happens when you fail it. How shameful. So I have to wait until next week. I thought it was a D, but apparently no, it's D plus. Screw you. I should see how many can class change and then get the appropriate seals. So you can go into advance. What's your likelihood here? Uh, I'll probably wait a little longer. What's your likelihood you can become a, um, a sniper? 70, so I might give you a shot.
Okay, you're that. You're that. Ooh, you can finally become a Dark Flyer. And I just need to get your uh, riding a bit higher. Uh, yeah, it was advanced seals I want. Also, buy a spare and immediate. Certifications. Let's get you into... Warrior. And I'm gonna give you a try because you see no, it wasn't you, was it? What was your percentage? Yeah, I was gonna give you a try. I can't believe I did it! And then Constance. Time for you to become a Dark Flyer. Sign of her has been removed because no longer the correct movement type, so I'm gonna have to give her a new battalion a little later. Alright, so let's focus on supports. Alright, so. Here we go! We'll start with Lysithia. There you are, Lysithia. I've been looking for you. So, I have a hypothesis about your crests. I know you're the one who sent me that anonymous letter. There are things we must discuss. Ugh, it sounded like some bizarre love letter. What? No, of course not. However, I wonder what you would have done if it was. Now I'm just confused and grossed out. I'm sorry, but that is not the overall topic of discussion. Do pay attention. Pay attention to you? As though anything you say is worth listening to. It's not like you can tell me anything I don't already know. You don't have a very positive opinion of your crests, do you? That's why you should listen to me. Um... I've dug through all my books, and there's no record of anyone being born with two crests. You are, to be blunt, an impossible occurrence. For you to have a second crest, it must have been forcibly implanted after birth. Is that your theory, then? Yes, it is. To further the theory, if the power exists to implant a crest, then it must be possible to remove one, too. And that is the real issue at hand. I... I could have one removed? That's what Hanneman is working on understanding. I'm helping him with it. Professor Hanneman? Based on your reaction, it seems you want one of your crests removed. I don't think I'd give up having two crests if I were you. Is that so? Even if you'd gone through horrifying experiments, endless trauma, and if you knew that all this pain meant you die very, very young? That's what you think? You're completely lacking in empathy, so of course you would make such a crass and foolish assumption. 
Alright, that's a beast. Let's get to Casper. You can chat with Shamir. Hey, Shamir. Your archery skills were amazing the other day. I couldn't believe it when you hit all those bullseyes. Not a single miss. It was nothing. No way! It was incredible! You were incredible! You gotta teach me how to shoot. Maybe. That sounds like a yes to me. Are you free tomorrow? Maybe. No promises, though. Come on, Shamir, don't be like that! Wait, is this because you don't think I'm good enough? Oh, that can't be it. It's nothing personal. As someone born in Dagda, I'm not very fond of the Empire. Dagda? Where is... Oh! You mean where they had that war with the Empire a few years back? The country west of Fodlan? Across the ocean? That Dagda? That Dagda. But that is behind us. I had no idea. I understand why you'd hate the Empire so much, though. My father was a major general in that war. He led an entire army. If I were you, I definitely wouldn't want to train the son of someone who killed all those Dagdans. You misunderstand. I harbor no ill will toward your generation. Huh? Well, then what does this have to do with you teaching me how to shoot? I simply have other commitments. I don't have the time to teach everyone, so I can't make any promises. That's your reason? You're just too busy? I, I thought you hated me. I guess I had nothing to worry about. In that case, I'm excited to get to know you better. Let's leave all that Dagda and Empire stuff in the past. Ash, I need to give you more gratitude for the commoner techniques you showed me. Commoner techniques? Oh, you mean when I haggled for you? Yes. It has made for many savings. I was telling the professor, we both are so happy. <laughs> really, it wasn't a big deal. But I'm glad the professor was pleased. Hmm. Uh, what is it? Do I have something on my face? For a lot of time, I was living in the Imperial capital. Then I came here, to the monastery. Both places contain many nobles, and many chances to be learning noble customs. That's true. When you're surrounded by new people, you naturally pick up all kinds of stuff. Though with nobles, there's a lot to learn. All the etiquette is overwhelming. Not to mention the dancing. Ah, I just keep stepping on my partner's feet. In Fodlin, the nobles are training for dancing since their youth. They have much skill. When I was a kid, I spent most of my time helping out at my parents' restaurant and playing with my brother and sister. Back then, I never dreamed I'd ever be studying at a proper academy with all these nobles. I have learned many customs of the nobles, but few of the commoners. I am hoping you will teach me. Techniques, secret skills, anything. All of the things. Secret skills? <laughs> I don't think I know anything that fancy. That is not the truth. The technique for money saving could be helpful even for nobles. It has use for all the world. I don't know about that. Really, I don't have any special secrets. Commoner wisdom is only to be shared with commoners then? I have understanding. Forbidden knowledge. Ash, how about we make a bargain? We can be trading information. In Bridget, Powerful curse techniques are passed down, and we can speak with the spirits. I can be teaching you these things. What? C curses? No, 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 no. I, I don't need any dangerous information like that. But if you really insist, I guess I could teach you a few things about what life is like on the streets. Would that be enough? You will be showing me the secret techniques? I cannot be waiting! Uh, that's not what I meant. Ignatz, I am having a request. Huh? For me? Yes, only you can be helping me. 
projects something only I can do? That's a lot of pressure. What's it about? I want to borrow your lens. I your glasses. I have curiosity. Oh, you want to try my glasses? All right. I have so much gratitude. I will be trying them now. So, Petra, what do you think? The world appears... blurred. Oh, my head feels dizzy. The danger for being sick is now... very high. What? Petra, take them off. If you lean on me that hard, I'm going to... Ah! How are you feeling? I am feeling much better now. You have my thanks. You're welcome? I guess you shouldn't wear glasses unless you need them. Yes. I do not have friendliness with glasses. Like Hero's Relics, only certain people can be using them. <laughs> glasses are like Hero's Relics. What a funny thing to say. It is not for a joke. I was saying the truth. Your glasses are only for you to use. But I give thanks for you showing them to me. Petra's always so serious. Relics, glasses... I never thought about it like that. Shamir, you are training away from the ground of training. Ah, Petra. Well, it looks like it might rain. I have understanding. Brain training can cause unhealthiness. Can I give you a question now? Sure. You come from Dagda, I think. Why are you working at the monastery? You can tell I'm from Dagda? Oh, I suppose Bridget is our neighbor. As for why I work here, that's simple. I work to live. Rhea took me in when I had nowhere else to go. I'm here to repay my debt. I don't plan to return to Dagda anytime soon. But Fodlin is an enemy for you, right? Are you feeling okay about that? The only ones I've fought in person are the Imperial Army. I carry no ill will toward anyone else. I have gratitude for your answering. You have given me understanding. How about you? Do you hate them? The Empire is your father's enemy. No. And it's Dagda's fault that Bridget got pulled into the war at all. So, do you hate Dagda? Or do you see that as none of your concern? The fault is not of Dagda. My father made his own choice to be joining the war. I cannot say I have no hatred for the Empire, but I do not have any for Edelgard. When I came here, she was always helping me. Makes sense. You can hate a country without hating its people. You speak with such honesty. It is very amazing. I'm not that special. I just don't let emotions get in my way. Pappy! I've been looking everywhere for you. What's going on? Something urgent? Oh no. <laughs> but I promised to tell you the rest of the Luna Knight's tale, remember? Huh. I've forgotten all about that. If you really want to tell the story that badly, I guess just go ahead. Okay, I will. Do you remember where I left off? Hmm. Well, you were telling me something about how the Luna Knight was hard on liars and cheaters. Right. So her husband, Duke Regan, turns out to be a bit of a libertine. <laughs> That's hilarious. My favorite part was when she caught her husband in the act and tossed him out the window. I thought tales about knights were supposed to be straight-laced, but this one's raunchy as heck. I'm uh, glad you enjoyed it. <laughs> Usually these tales are pretty serious. But sometimes in a serious story, you need lighter moments like that to connect to the characters. It helps to see that even these great heroes made mistakes now and again. Just like us. You're so trusting, Freckles. For some reason, I find it endearing. But you shouldn't take something at face value just because it's written down. The truth is, knights do plenty of things that aren't heroic at all. Things that hurt people. You're not wrong. Some knights do terrible things. 
That doesn't make the Great Ones any less worthy of honor, though. What about knights who have died taking a stand against the Church? Would you call them great? That's... complicated. Or what about the knights who put me in abyss, promising to release me from my curse? When they couldn't, they left me there out of fear for what I might do. Does that sound honorable to you? Happy... I'm so sorry. Uh, sorry. I can't help but say nasty things. Got any more stories for me? Maybe another racy one? Uh, yes, actually. I came prepared with the most... Uh, racy ones I could find. In case you happen to ask. Of course you did. Let's hear one then. Good morning, Lysithia. Out for a stroll, are we? It's lovely weather for it. I might go wander outside myself. I'm sure I can see some beautiful sights. Ignatz, hold still, will you? Uh, sure. Your shoes are untied. It looks sloppy. Let me just fix it for you. Oh, thank you for letting me know. But really, I'm perfectly capable of tying them myself. <laughs> Clearly that's not the case. Otherwise, this wouldn't be an issue. Now, hush. Um... There we go. Thanks. You've also got awful bedhead. What? But I examined myself in the mirror before leaving my quarters. It's the back of your head. Quite unkempt. You really should get it together. I mean, really. You're born to a noble adjacent merchant family, aren't you? You really should be more presentable. Sorry, Lysithia. You're always so perfectly put together. In fact, I'd say you're perfect in all respects. I don't think I've seen you fail at anything. Well, consider that if I make even the slightest misstep, everyone will treat me like a child. There's nothing I hate more than that. I see. Well, I think you're very mature. If anything, you may be overdoing it somewhat. I mean, people treat me like a child sometimes. But I like it, because it reminds me that other people care about me. You know? No matter how much we stretch, some things are always beyond us. I think it's fine to be vulnerable and ask for help sometimes. Ignatz, are you really lecturing me about how I conduct myself right now? You're a sheepish, unreliable scatterbrain who can only ever think about what others think of him. Perhaps you should worry about your own maturity before you start questioning mine. Although you certainly look the part of a baby, so maybe that's asking too much. Anyway, I've got things to do, so I'm gonna go now. Uh, Lysithia, wait. Hey! Out of my way. You're such a child, I swear. Hmm. That was uncalled for. After all, I am older than she is. <laughs> Today's training was murder. Ah, Shamir, I have a question for you. Um, Shamir? Oh, I suppose she's meditating or something. Never mind then, I guess. Where are you going? Ha! Ah! Shamir! Don't you have a question? Uh, no. It's not important. I'm finished meditating. Speak. Uh, no, it's not... You're probably tired anyway. Always be willing to speak and ask questions. Understood? Yes, understood. I'll remember that for next time. Next time? Um, yes. I'm okay for today. Sorry to disturb you. I'll be leaving now. Why must he be so difficult? Ugh, training was exhausting today. I need some quick energy. Aha! Perfect time for my favorite candy! I 
won't make it back to my room without this sweet, sweet energy. And no one's around. So... Looky here. It's the little lady of House Ordelia. Just back from training, yeah? You're unstoppable. <laughs> Not feeling chatty, I see. Something to do with those puffy cheeks? Got a cavity brewing or what? I definitely don't! So bad you can't even speak properly, poor thing. It's okay, I know a guy. He'll have that rotten tooth out in no time. No need! Yep, best in the business. Uses special tools and everything. Door and a string or some such. <laughs> no, no! Thank you! Oh, you just had food in your mouth. You could have told me that a lot sooner, you know. Wow! Placing the blame on me? What a piece of work! But, uh, hey, don't tell anyone. That you were walking around with acorn-stuffed cheeks like some kind of overzealous squirrel? Ugh! It wasn't acorns! It was candy! Even still, I don't plan on telling anyone a hungry girl ate some food. Not much of a story, really. You don't get it. If people think I'm gnawing on candy, they'll think I'm nothing more than a child. That effect. I'd say it's downright prudent to fortify yourself any chance you get. Mature, even. Wait, what? Nothing is certain in life, not even your next meal. You never know when you'll be taken into custody and have to go without food and drink for a while. Just what kind of a world do you inhabit, mister? The real world, little lady. My life is a collection of getting into trouble, getting caught, and getting free. One time, I was actually rescued by your parents. Bet you didn't know that, huh? They... rescued you? Too true. I owe them for that. I... Ah! I forgot I'm actually in a rush. I gotta run. Enjoy your secret candy, pal. Mother and father rescued that guy? But when would that have happened? All right, that appears to be all the conversations we have so far. Now, I think any others is this me is this for Byleth. We just roam around. Yeah, we'll do those. Um, do some faculty and stuff like that. You're curious is how Ignaz is doing. Go for a visit, sure. All right. Time to sneak off and do some painting. Professor, such lovely weather today, huh? I was, uh, just about to go for a walk. Why are you bringing paper? What, this? No, it's, a. Uh... Oh, I'm sorry, Professor. I'll admit it. I was going to do some painting. You remember the place where we talked before? I've been painting the scenery there. I'm still keeping up with my academics and training, of course. I just paint in my spare time, as a change of pace. I'm not accusing you. Oh, you're not? Ah, well, yes, I suppose you're not. I may have gotten ahead of myself. I'm sorry for panicking there. Honestly, I'm just worried that my father will find out that I've been painting. I'm not going to tell him. Of course. Why would you go out of your way to tell him that? Completely illogical of me. But it seems I've developed a bit of a complex about it. My father's not a fan of my artistic pastime, you see. We're a merchant family, and my older brother is set to inherit the business. As for me, my father decided I should be a knight. That's why I'm at the academy. Painting won't help me become a knight. It's a waste of time. Is that why you feel guilty about it? Well, yes. I feel like I'm betraying my parents. I hear the business has been slow for them over the past few years. If I become a knight for an influential noble house, I could use my connections to help support them. My father was determined to send me here. He must have been, considering the enormous amount of money he spent. I don't think I'm well suited to being a knight. My parents sent me to the academy for their sake. 
not my own. When I think about how hard my family is working just to stay in business, how can I sit idly by? All of which is just to say that painting will have to remain my little hobby. Nothing more. Not that I could make a career out of it even if I wanted to. That's just a fantasy. <laughs> Alright, so let's do some activities. Uh, let's bring in Happy. Oh wow, that increased a lot for her. Yeah, I'm gonna have to leave. By the goddess fish messenger. I wasn't aware it sold that much. Platinum fish. Ashes Traveler, local specialties. Send off. Grab the items that have spawned here. To the holy tomb. Here. It is almost time to begin. Thanks. My thank you so much. I am grateful. Just gotta wait for this to load. I am grateful. Right, let's head to the greenhouse. Hey there. Now let's plant.
Cultivate. Hi there, Professor. Let's see, da 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 da. Item. Hey. Let's cook. I enjoy baking sweets, but I'm not sure how I'll do cooking other types of food. Hmm. I see. Cooking is much more exciting than studying or training. Then can I recruit you yet? Wow. Ingrid just about slapped the teeth out of my head. All I did was suggest that Flane might have eloped. Hey, Professor. Pretty great timing. I want to ask you something. I'd like to be in your class, if that's possible. I've been thinking, maybe I ought to get serious about studying. Sure. Very decisive. I like it. I'll be there on time and in the front row and everything. You'll never have a better student. Sylvain's so join our class. Oh, you're looking for. F I can't. There's. It couldn't hurt to add this out. Uh, that I can recruit you yet. Some training sometime. I'm interested in your sword technique. I might like to. Be yeah, my sword's not high enough. Let's go over here because there's a support conversation to be had. And it's with Edelgard. Oh, it's you. Out late again, I see. What brings you here? I could ask you the same. I just wanted some fresh air. There's a lovely breeze tonight. I always wander outside when sleep evades me. I couldn't sleep either. So I see. Still, it's ill-advised to stay out so late. I should get some sleep too, but... Have you ever felt a sort of longing for the outdoors? I have. There are times I long for the warmth of the sun, for a sweet breeze on my face. Do you remember what I told you the other night? About... my past? None of my siblings had a chance to lead the sort of life they deserved. An ordinary life. Should I say I forgot? You asked me to forget. Hmm. Well, oh! perhaps if I tell you more, it will come back to you. My siblings and I were... We were imprisoned underground, beneath the palace. The objective was to endow our bodies with the power of a major crest. I have always possessed the crest of Saros, Inherited through the Hressfeld bloodline, but it was only a minor crest and most of my siblings bore no crest at all In order to create a peerless Emperor to rule Fodlin, they violated our bodies by cutting open our very flesh Now here I stand the fruit of that endeavor Edelgard von Hressfeld But that came at too high a price The others were sacrificed Ours weren't the only lives devastated by that terrible process. Innocents died as well, without even knowing what they were dying for. And there you have it. The truth of the Hressfeld's empire. It's unbelievable. It is. But when you see my true strength, you will know that I speak the truth. I have kept it hidden all this time, but I will reveal to you the power of my second crest. It is the same as yours, the Crest of Flames. When it manifested for me, I swore a silent oath. For the sake of my family, and for all the poor souls whose lives were traded for my existence. For their sake, I will build a world where such meaningless sacrifice is never again sanctioned. As Emperor, I will change the world. I swear it. 
Forgot it was actually possible to lower friendship at Edelgard. Yeah, Edelgard has the second quest, and I think now that she revealed that, I think if you look her up on the roster. Yes, her second quest will now appear for you. And it, so she has the Crest of Flames. Uh, I believe it behaves exactly just like ours. But yeah, once she reveals this to you, she now has this as a part of her character. And this can potentially activate it alongside with her other crests. Let's see. If you're hoping to do one of the two routes that uh, the... Black Eagle story has, it is a requirement for you to get that uh, support conversation with Edelgard so you can learn about her second crest. What the? Hey! Right. Oh, that's Rhea. I'm more capable of protecting myself from ruffians, but those around me tend to worry, and I am so often declined the pleasure of a private scroll. I'm happy to escort you if you want to go out. Oh, come on! Screw you! I hate it when it's like, oh, yep, yeah, you got the right. A oh, fuck you! Let's see, the tea here does absolutely nothing for me. I could send in for some supplies from home, but it's truly not a soul in this place. A tea fit for a noble? Uh, Lawrence would be a good source. I always despise the heat. Even as a child, still one must be prepared to fight anywhere. No matter the conditions, have you have any advice for enduring the heat? Fight it off using magic. Uh, look for clothing and armor that breathes better. Happy. Me, 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 me. <clears throat> Something appears to be wrong with my throat. Singing is nice, isn't it? The only thing is, I'd prefer to do it without an audience. Stairs. Hmm. All right, Ray is not he here, is she? No, but we'll she do set if. Left the monastery of her own. Oh, you can't do faculty training during this part of the game. I forgot about that. Cause you're too concerned about your sister. Uh, you Yeah, sister. Uh, da 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 da. Perhaps may the goddess protect dear Flane. Uh, yeah, teach me how to punch. May the god and have a flower. I appreciate this. Oh, 
Professor. Hello. Excuse me. Nah, but not high enough. I need writing. Over to where Hadaman is. Young Flame. What? Who would suspect me? You know what? I'll tell you, alas. However. Gonna teach me writing. Ooh. How to be tidy. A book of tips of keeping things tidy. It probably belongs to someone who has a hard time cleaning. Professor. What's today's special? Countryside red, red turnip plate. Ooh, this is my favorite. You've got great taste. This is delicious. My absolute favorite. Motivation's gone up. Get Felix. Delicious. After a scrumptious meal like that, I feel that I can really seize the day. That looks appetizing. Yeah, let's have this. favorite that looks delicious goddess forgive me I've just got to indulge grab Ingrid any good meal but nothing beats enjoying my favorite food this is so good can I have seconds but and then we'll probably do a bit of faculty hey there professor what me abduct flip well this may sound silly but I was too scared to even look I couldn't bear the thought of finding her in its depths. Alright, you now have... Da -da -da -da. Ooh, item. Now, Fetter, sweet. Uh, what brings you here? Is this about Flane? You find me suspicious. I was somewhere else, fighting. Is that a problem? I understand that I don't fit in among the Knights of Sarah, but that hardly links me to Flame. No. Bell rings, so I think we'll end the episode here in the next episode we'll do next week. Ooh. Item. Silver necklace. I got the grave of the chest of, cr chest, crest of Saros. Probably belongs to a devout believer. So yeah, we'll end that things here. In the next episode, we'll do next week probably another set of classes and conversations. If you enjoyed this episode, do like the video as it helps tremendously. Subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment down below on your thoughts of this episode. And share the video so more people can discover my content and help the channel grow. I'll see you all next time. Later.